ver los, los, los viejos amigos y conocer nuevas personas. The possibility to invite also that uh, he could see the old friends and to meet new persons too. Pero no no pensé que iba a volver a, a, a tener un reencuentro. Para mí ha sido eh, tan importante como todo el trabajo que estoy haciendo. Me, la escultura, uh, el mural, todo eso es tan importante. Es, el, 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 o sea, el encuentro con Paul y con Art City es tan importante como lo que estoy haciendo ahora en pintura y, y la exposición personal. I, muy, I, muy importante. I never thought that I was going to meet again Paul, but uh, for me the reencuentro con Paul is as important as what I am doing here in my the mural, the sculptures. Meeting with Paul is for me very important. I, as an artist, learned very much from Paul Linhart to be inclusive and to honor other people's styles and ideas and, and to work together with that, to work with that energy as opposed to trying to dominate. Paul leads and teaches by example. He's so gracious and yet he doesn't compromise. That's, that's the kind of artist I want to be. A friend of, of, of Paul Linhart's is a friend of mine. A collaborator of Paul Linhart's, if I'm able to even be in that realm, uh, again, I'm uh, humbled, honored, and excited. Lo mismo hice escultura en, en mármol, que es una escultura muy memorable, que está, se conserva a la entrada de Arciri, que para mí es un honor por toda la historia eh, que tiene en sí misma. I did uh, different sculptures, one of them in marble, that for me is an honor because it's uh, still there at the entrance of our city. I had two opportunities to send artwork back with a human envoy to Cuba, which is amazing. For what, January, February, March, April, May, it was pretty much, the, last, the final approval was in June. So two times in six months, I had the opportunity to send artwork back with Bill Hendricks and also to email and have it translated by Victor. Um, 
and then translated to Pedro, and then his comments coming back to us on email, in words, not images. El mural, como había distancia entre MB y yo, y, y además no sabía que era ella. <laughs> As there was a big distance between, uh, geographically, between MB and me, and even Entonces, I didn't know who was she. Todo era muy especulativo. Solo uh -huh. había de concreto que el mural debía contener eh, incidencias eh, eh, históricas y culturales. There were some speculations, but it was not concrete. The only the idea that it must have some cultural and historical... De ambas ciudades. Yes. Aunque en realidad es de ambos países. Issues of both cities that it really is of both countries. Porque casi todo lo que sucede en La Habana sucede en toda Cuba. Uh, like, y lo que sucede en Ventura también sucede en todo Estados like, Unidos. Like uh, in Cuba, what happens in Havana mainly happens in all the country. I, and it's the same here. What happens in Ventura in some way happens in all the country. So I started by familiarizing myself with Pedro's artwork and just trying to like look at it and, and the examples that I had stylistically. Then it was just thinking about doing a little research and, and getting some, trying to bring what first came to my mind and a lot of Americans' minds when they first, Havana. And so then it was like, well, obviously an old car, an old car. And Ventura has a car culture just like most places. I wanted to find elements that would be common in both countries and that would also sp symbolically speak of the, um, of the dance of the two cultures, which was happening right here, right now, uh, cross-pollination of arts um, and looking forward and, that, uh, and communication because with the relaxation of um, the restrictions in communicating and having commerce with, with Cuba, I wanted, I, I just felt like, well, this mural should definitely be about uh, communication, transmitting, and receiving. Entonces, por ejemplo, eh, fue creciendo la idea de, en, en la parte donde aparece el, el automóvil, and eh, grew up the idea, for example, where there is the image of an automobile, hacer un cambio, to make a small change eh, de automóvil of the car the type of car y hacer el, 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 la imagen del automóvil de Ernest Hemingway and using the the image of a car that had Ernest Hemingway the famous American writer uh -huh. ¿por qué? porque en Cuba ruedan the, actualmente el, no sé si el, qué por ciento será pero es un enorme por ciento de automóviles antiguos because, uh, norteamericanos why? Because in Cuba uh, runs uh, now a days a lot of American old American cars. Puedo decirlo de la. No, la creo que no. Este eh, y entonces el carro de, de Hemingway es un carro de la época. So similar. Hemingway's car is one of the of those times. Uh, y como es la amistad entre dos países, entre dos pueblos, eh, Hemingway fue muy 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 amigo de. De Cuba. And uh, as the one of the main uh, objects of the mural is about the friendship, yeah. uh, Hemingway is a symbol of the, the friendship su... between Cuba and United States and United States in Cuba, because the Cuban people love Hemingway and, and Hemingway love Cuba. Gran parte de su vida la hizo en 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 Norteamérica, en África y en Cuba. Yes, yeah, he, he he lived a lot in different countries in the United States, in North in Africa, in Cuba, but the most part was done in Cuba more than 21 years. And after sending pictures back and then Pedro checking which ones he liked and then him sending back his pictures and pictures of his abstract feel and what he's what I got was like this thing that kind of looked like a rainbowy wave and I thought, well, okay. There was the building, and one day I went by and I saw this archway shape, and I'm all, there it is. Plus, it was getting developed into a parking lot. And so I'm like, okay, there's going to be cars parked all over the place. Hmm. And then there was talk like, well, maybe some planting's going to get done. And I was like, well, I really don't want trees and plants in front of the mural. And so I was hearing all these different things. And so having a space where if plants get planted, there's room for them. 
something that takes over the whole wall, but also leaves space to appreciate the, the individual images. Por último está el, 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 el otro cuadro. At the end there is another image. Que es una imagen de una mano. There is an image of a hand. Que en este caso no estaba muy bien definida, pero yo la he pintado negra. That uh, it was not very well defined, but I, I painted it black. Con un caracol cauri. With a shell, a cauri shell. Que eh, se dicen, hay versiones históricas. There are some historical versions. Que la, la, la cultura humana. That human culture. Nació en África. Was born in Africa. Y se fueron moviendo por, lo, por el clima, and they were moving por razones de, eh, migratorias. Due to climatic, el hombre se fue subiendo migratory, hacia el norte hasta llegar al último de Europa y cruzar por el estrecho de Bering a América. La razón por la que se up to the top, to Europa, y se uh, cruzan por América a través del Bering Strait. Y la presencia del caracol, y especialmente de ese caracol, and the of the, this shelf, está en la cultura y en la historia de la humanidad. Is in the culture and the history of humanity. I thought about that and, I mean, and just having a strong, dominant Cuban hand holding the conch shell where the sound comes out of it, but also the sound comes into it. The same sound and energy that started in the car radio. Cuban music is so amazing and has also always been something that, that drew people from other countries to Cuba and I'm sure it's just going to blow up now that the restrictions and, uh, are relaxed. Después se van sucediendo un grupo de imágenes. There are other images. Como es la danza que es común like para los pueblos dance, de todo el mundo. Dance that is common for every people in the world. Pero en el caso de las imágenes sería una bailarina que puede ser una bailarina de aquí de Ventura y una eh, típica mulata cubana. But in the case of the dancer could be a dancer from here from Ventura or a typical mulata woman in Cuba. I have so much respect for art being a power that's greater than the artists, but the artists have to make it. And um, and that's the push and the pull of making art and when you do it in public and you do it with a collaborator, everybody's watching, <laughs> and, um, and the movement and the, the transferring of energy is not abstract, it is absolutely real. I got dressed and I went west toward the shore Rain started pouring when I stepped on my skateboard Got all my dreams and duct taped at the seams And all my reasons seem to be bleeding But when by the building it's gonna be the breeze through the trees now Everybody separates to find the unity somehow. Oh, you know them thieves didn't steal a thing. But they led you to the edge and watched you fall on in. You're too busy worried about something. That you got no business in And every child needs an escape I hope it's not lies, I hope it's not hate Got you hooked on a video game Nothing better than I'm that brave 
Some God no better role models than the president who's a thief on a throne and the cops on the king of the world. For some reason, I, I worry day and night about water. I have a farm with trees, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not making enough art about water. So this piece is about water, but it has a much deeper kind of a emotional, historical meaning, you know. This piece is called She Crossed the River, and the river is the uh, stands for two things, as a matter of fact. One is uh, the Atlantic River, which my mother crossed as a very young woman, escaping Europe from the horrors of uh, Nazism. Uh, so she crossed the river. She also brought with her, and that was pretty amazing to me as a young child, a little box full with buttons that were very pretty. It also means for me, probably because I'm from South America and I'm an immigrant three times. <laughs> so it, it, it talks to me about crossing the Rio Grande. All the thousands or millions of women that cross the river again to, to a place where they can uh, be respected or have a life or be able to eat and feed their families. So this uh, is what brought me to, to uh, tell that story. First, there was stone. What if I told you my religion was a stone in the sky, following me from the first rock that spoke in childhood? cloister heavy, the moon mute over my shoulder, leading me to wander, so that now, closer to the end, I don't really know if this was Stone's kindness or trickery. Thank you. 
Blackest Bird Obsession. Your lustrous darkness lurches about my lawn like a porn store shopping bag in a breeze, only calculated. Your movements are determined and purposeful. You gallop from commuters and garbage men and back to center road to investigate a reflective object like a child crippled with ADD. Your cries comfort and arouse me, my senses pricked by the flash of a hunkered down shadow against the warmly lit morning wall, followed by a throaty vibration, almost belching from atop the light pole outside my office window. I sit still, with murderous yearning, wishing myself small, perched under sable wings, grooming plumes, keeping your flight both comfortable and efficient. Almost the first week of, um, you know, taking an art class from this person, uh, her name was Giacomo Padre, this person who was um, almost like, ended up becoming like a second father to me. Um, from that very moment, I just knew that I was doing the right thing. And he gave me an assignment and I went upstairs to, uh, to, um, um, do the project, and the project was basically, um, he wanted me to look out the window for three hours. This is my second year there, and he said, I want you to go up in your room, and tonight, for three hours, look out a window, and record what you see. And you don't have to put it on paper or do anything, you need to tell me about it tomorrow. And I didn't know what the hell he was talking about, but I went up and I did it, and I, and he said, you can take a potty break, and have some food for yourself, but do do three straight hours at least, three or four hours. <clears throat> so I went up there and I began staring out the window and I focused on uh, blackbirds and birds um, on um, telephone wires. And I was inspired about after about an hour of that I decided to do some drawings that way. So I did a bunch of drawings and then I came down the next morning and showed him and he, and he said, these are the best things I've seen in a long time. And I didn't, you know, I, all I did was just, <laughs> I, I followed his instruction, and then I just, what I saw, okay, I uh, transferred to paper, and uh, so then he started explaining what I did, because <laughs> I couldn't, I wasn't still at that level of being able to explain why I, I would fill the page up on the left side and not on the right side, and leave big spaces in the middle and make lines coming down on the sides. That was all up to him, and he was, um, he was at the same time teaching me a composition. But anyway, I did that and it was a, a, an extraordinary experience. And I learned how to see. At the school, at Pottery School, right early, within a month, that this is what I wanted to do. And then I, so I happened to get in a conversation with Pottery. He'd like to have little um, chats with you uh, with his coffee in the morning. And he would teach morning, and then he'd teach the afternoon. And this was a guy who was in his 70s, and he was, um, um, had suffered from polio, so he had a, a few canes, to, he had canes to get around. And, um, but he was, um, uh, as they say in football now, he's a beast, which is a, a complimentary expression, which is somebody who's very strong. So Giacomo was a beast. I've never, I've never called him a beast, but anyway. The epiphany was within the first week. I said, "I said I don't care if I'm going to be a good artist or, or an artist or whatever. I just enjoy what 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 this person's doing." 
And so I told him I, I, in the coffee break, and he said, he said, that's a great attitude. He said, um, it sounds like, you know, and I didn't even know what that meant. He says, like, he, he says it to me, he said, it sounds like you like the process. Okay, and there was a couple of other students were all having our coffee break. And they all nodded, and I didn't know what the heck that meant, you know, the process, um, as it related to doing art. And then within a couple of weeks, I began to realize that I enjoyed just kind of like learning and doing it, kind of hands-on, you know. And his classes were anywhere from 7 to 15 people in the classroom. That was it. And a lot of them were part-time people who helped support the school and supported his ideas. And then there was a few people like me who just um, moved in into the building, lived upstairs in a small little garret. Very, you know, very <laughs> kind of like romantic uh, art idea. And um, we just lived art. Something happens and you can make something out of it. I mean, I like to make form out of sometimes things that don't make any sense to me even, you know. Um, I really like that idea which is to, uh, uh, you've got a bunch of crazy thoughts or whatever, and you can sit down actually at your work area or whatever, or a painting, and put together those, those ideas and make some kind of a, a thing. And you can say, hey, maybe I've resolved this problem, or maybe I've resolved all these funny thoughts in a piece. Okay, so you make form out of it. And I really, really love that idea.